The moment of surrender isn't when life ends, but it's when life begins. There is this notion that achieving success is solely dependent on intense, all-consuming passion that you have to be stressed, you have to be overwhelmed, you have to be in a constant state of aggression and action to achieve what you want to achieve. And so detachment doesn't mean you care less about your goals, but rather that you're less emotionally tied to specific outcomes. And when we're able to be less attached to where we want to be, it's going to cause us to take more action to allow ourselves to get there. And I've seen this in, in, in sales, for example. When you jump on a sales call and you need a client and you come off and you give that needy kind of energy, they're not going to buy. They're not going to work with you because if you need them more than they need you, well, then there's, you're already giving off a, an, an example of why they shouldn't. And I've seen this again and again. So instead of coming from a place of attachment, attaching yourself to the outcome, attaching yourself to the goal, attaching yourself to where you want to be, I want you to be really intentional about where you are right now and surrendering to the flow of life that's going to allow you to get there. The first part of this is recognizing that we have to focus on our intention and not our expectation. And this is something that's really difficult for high achievers, especially is because we're always focused on what we want to do and not so much what we get to do every single day to get there. So instead of focusing on the outcome, the goal that we want to accomplish, the thing that we want to do, I want you to focus on the actions that are going to lead you there. Because this detachment from the outcome, this goal, and the intention, the focus on the intention, not the expectation, that's going to lead you to focus on things that actually move the needle. When instead of focusing and being, you know, acting out of compulsion, instead of acting out of contention, when we're focusing on acting out of compulsion, this is when we focus on the small things, this is when we overwork ourselves, this is when we put so much pressure on ourselves that only leads us to the same kind of paradigm and, and, and pattern that creates that long term, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to happen because if we're going to burn ourselves out, this is why burnout happens. This is a pattern that we have to break. And so when we get really intentional about this detachment, it's going to lead us to achieving our goals much faster and, and a, with a hell of a lot less stress and just overwhelm that we don't need. It's like the idea that pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. And we place so much suffering on ourselves because we think that it needs to be difficult. It needs to be stressful. We need to be always working. It needs to, we're just acting out of compulsion. And so this detachment is was what's going to allow us to focus on the intentional things that are actually going to lead us down that path. But it's focusing on our intention and not our expectation. Another piece of this is that when you are detached from the outcome, failure becomes an asset and not something that you avoid. Because at its core, failure is feedback. It's not something that should be avoided. It's not something that should be frowned upon. It's not something that you should look at and be, I am the failure. And that's where it's really difficult because so many of us see that when we fail, we are the failure. And being able to detach ourselves from that and recognize that that failure is not me. It's not a reflection of me. It's not a reflection of the person that I am or the person that I'm becoming, but rather a piece of the pie that allows us to get to where we want to go. It is the exact thing. It's the most data information rich thing that we can do is take in that failure and really figure out and be intentional about what we need to learn from that failure instead of avoiding it. When we're intentional about really learning from our failures instead of avoiding the failure, well, that's going to lead us down the path that we want to go. That's going to lead us into more action. It's going to put ourselves out there. And I believe that luck is something that you have a much bigger part of than you think. You know, there's, there's the luck that, life just happens. And then there's a luck that we have a part in. And us being able to fail more and be intentional about learning from our failure will increase our surface area to get lucky in life. And this revolves around being able to detach from that failure and seeing ourselves as a failure versus being intentional about learning from the failure. So this, this paradigm shift is difficult, especially for our brain to accept because our ego wants us to avoid the things that make us look like a fool. It's going to avoid the things that are going to allow us to actually move forward in life. Once we're able to detach from our failure and recognize that we are not the failure and detach from this, this all-knowing idea of what we think we need to be and, 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 and what we want to accomplish, then life becomes a hell of a lot easier and failure becomes something that we seek and not something that we avoid. And lastly, how can you put this detachment and make it a priority in your life? So this is something that I've realized from growing up. It's been a, a hurdle, but it's something that I'm really intentional about doing more so now is that I meditate almost every single day because it is such a priority for me to be able to recognize what thoughts are coming up throughout my day. I have this 
need and feeling that I need to be working all the time. And it's just my, it's my type A personality that I think a lot of high achievers, if you listen to this, you're probably a high achiever we have is that we're always trying to move forward. We're always trying to keep going, but that pattern doesn't serve us in the long run. It only puts us in a place of compulsion and not intention. And as I spoke about earlier, and so some things that you can do to be really intentional about detaching is number one, meditation. It's going to allow you to really see the thoughts that are popping up when you're with yourself, because for people like us, if you're listening to this, we are always on go. And when we never allow ourselves to take a minute to be with ourselves, we never recognize how we feel about ourselves when we're by ourselves. We're always going to be searching for something outside of ourselves to feel complete, to feel like we're worthy, to feel like we belong. And so when we recognize that those thoughts that come up are not us and that we are able to see them and be the observer of them and detach from them, it's going to allow us to live a life that we really love and enjoy the process so much instead of waiting for this end goal that we need to accomplish or need to do to to be enough to live a life that we truly love. Another is walking. If you follow me, you obviously see this on Instagram. I talk about walking so much. And I'm not talking about the walking where you have something in your ears where you're listening to music or a, a podcast or a book or whatever, but literally walking and just being with yourself on that walk. Because something that I've recognized is that Walking is something that's so important because it brings up the questions that it's just like meditation. It's going to bring up the questions that you need to ask yourself. It's going to bring up the tasks that you need to face. It's going to bring up all of the things that are going on in your life that you're probably avoiding or you're putting off or the things that you just need to address in life. And so whether it's walking, it's meditation, it's speaking with someone about the things that you're going through, a coach, a mentor, a therapist, whatever that looks like, allowing yourself to detach from this idea, again, the detachment, this idea that things are supposed to be a certain way or that you should be further along or that you should have accomplished this goal or that um, you're not going to be enough until you do those things is one of the most powerful things that you can do in your life. Because at its core, all that matters is how you feel about yourself when you're by yourself. And when you're able to detach from where you want to be, you're able to detach from this idea of yourself, the thoughts that you have, the feelings that you have, you're going to be able to live a life that's much more in alignment with the life that you truly want to live. And in result, detachment is going to be the thing that's going to propel you into the life that you want to live. And you're going to notice that once you're able to detach a little bit more in life, you'll achieve more in life. Because achieving doesn't come from doing more, but it's about doing less with more intention. When you're intentional about being where you are and not thinking so much about where you want to be, you'll recognize that the whole purpose of life is to enjoy the passage of time. So I truly appreciate you for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this episode, if it resonated with you, leave a comment, leave a review on Apple and Spotify podcasts and share it with someone that needs to see this because I think this is something that so many of us struggle with that we need to be intentional about overcoming.